Hi there, welcome to our demo session on GG Password Expiration Notification. Before starting the demo session, let's see why password need to be expired. Password acts as the protecting shield for the user information. As a result it is prone to brute force attacks by hackers and virus applications. Therefore it is the best practice to change password at regular time intervals by specifying the days to expire value using domain policy or fine-grained password policy in Windows Server 2008. Now let's see why we need GPEN. If an user is unaware of his password or account expiry date, then his password or account will be expired and he will experience log on and account lockout issues. To prevent these issues from occurring, we need to notify the users about their password and account expiry status before expiration. Using GPEN, you can specify your own custom days to expire value for password. You can notify the selected scope of users whose password or account is soon to be expired. You can notify the managers on the expiration status of their users. You can also send password soon to be expired users report to preferred users and summary report of all notifications to admin users. OK, let's start. Now, I go to start all program and open GPEN. As a result, a new password or account notifier dialog box appears. First select the expiration type. Here, I need to configure notification for password expiration. So, I select password. Then provide the description for notification task. Now select the target users whose expiry status will be collected by GPEN. The available scopes of the target are domain, organizational unit, group, and user. Here, I select an OU as my target scope. Then I browse and select my custom OU. Maximum password age is used to calculate password expiry date of users based on the domain policy or Windows Server 2008 fine-grained password policy. This value will be indicated as days to expire in the notification mails. I select my own custom value. Using this option, you can notify the users whose password is soon to be expired. By default, the users will be notified from the last 14 days before their password expires. Here, I modify it as 15. Now, by enabling this option, you can alert the managers with our users password expiration status. Using this option, you can send the password soon be expired users report to preferred users. Now select the required report type. I select HTML. To send this report to preferred users, add their email IDs in this list. Now, I add my custom email ID to this list. Using GPEN, we can notify the expiration status only through email. The mail content for each email notifications such as user notifications, alerts to managers, and user reports to preferred email ID list can be edited using their corresponding edit email options. In this demo session, I select edit email option for user notification. The mail content is either in HTML or plain text format. Here, I specify HTML format. Using this option, you can insert predefined macros to your mail content to show additional information while notification you can insert the macros to either subject or content section now I insert a macro in the subject section and modify its appearance then press OK to save the changes here I select execute and save now provide the privileged users authentication details with whose credentials notification tasks will be scheduled to run then press OK. Thus the task is executed and mail sent successfully. Now, 
you can see the save task listed in the notification dialog box. You can execute each task by pressing run now at their end. You can also view the summary report. Each notification task can be disabled, enabled, deleted, and edited using the options in them. Now, let's see about the additional features in GPEN. In Settings, First Password Expiration Settings helps you in optimizing your email notification process by ignoring users whose password never expires, whose password changes at next logon, who does not have email ID, whose password already expired. Using Expiration Report Settings, you can add or remove AD attributes as columns in the expiration report to extract the required information. Here, I add an available column to the display column so that it will be displayed in the expiration report. Now, by enabling this option, you can send summary report of all notifications to specified email IDs added in this list. Here, I add the email ID of an admin user. Then save the changes. This feature supports you to edit or reconfigure your mail server settings. Using this option, you can change the daily notification schedule runtime. Here, I change it as 10 a.m. To make the changes to take effect, press Change. Using Run as option, you can specify the privileged user's authentication details to run this schedule. Here, I provide my custom user details. This feature helps you to generate and view the expiration report in a new dialog box. Here, you have some additional options to customize and make use of your generated report. Using this option, you can print this report. You can export this report to four different file formats, such as CSV, Excel, PDF and HTML. You can also custom select specified users and export their expiration details. I select my required user details and export them to a PDF file. Now you can see the exported report. Using this option, you can customize the details in the expiration report by adding or removing columns. This option is used to change the display format of the report. Using scope option, you can extract the expiration report from different Active Directory scopes, such as domain, OU and users. Now, I browse and select an OU, and you can view the corresponding report. Finally, using this option, you can create new notification tasks, as performed before. To register this product go to, Help Manu. Without registering the product, you can only schedule one task, and notify one user. These are the notification, settings available in GPEN. After some days, when GPEN started, sending email notifications. First, I go to, Outlook Web Access of, Microsoft Exchange Server 2007, and log in as an user. Now you can clearly see the GPEN notification for the user. Then, I log in as manager to view his notification. Then, I log in as preferred user to view the expiration report and as an admin user to view summary of all notifications. We feel happy in providing you the demo on GG Password Expiration Notification. For queries feel free to contact us at support at ggtechnologies.com. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.